Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in dopamine or dopamine without the P instead it's got the F in it. Yep. Anyway, this was developed and published by Whale Rock Games, yes the same uh, guys and girls who made uh, Space Accident. So this is basically Space Accident DLC um, if, if you want to call it that. So if you did ever play Space Accident it's a little puzzle game, and it's, this is exactly the same thing. We've got to explore uh, a spaceship. We're a scientific broski, um, and we basically have to do puzzles in order to solve some stuff. Yeah, awesome. Right, uh, in terms of achievements and trophies, you'll effectively get the full 1,000 game score and platinum trophy just by going through uh, the story. Each puzzle will basically get us some notes, which will get added to our diary. There are nine notes which we will get, like I said, automatically, but there is one achievement that you can't pretty much miss anyway, and that's just for getting transported with a blue laser, which we will get in the very last room. So, again, all in all, quite an easy enough game. Uh, it'll take around 20 to 30 minutes to complete. So, with that being said then, uh, let's do it! Now, again, if you did play Space Accident, the controls, as we do, we'll press the A button here to just, just to skip the cutscene, uh, the controls can be slightly, you know, you'll need to get used to them, as it were, as it were. Uh, now, if you want to, you can go into settings and change some of the uh, settings. So, originally, the jump button will be left, the left bumper, but you can change it to the A button, etc. But anyway, whatever you decide to do, we'll grab this first cube, come into the room behind us, and you can put this cube on the um, machine here, on the pad. So, your pad will go from red to green. <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. And that'll open up the way for us. We can then grab this next cube, go to the right. Now, make sure to try and put this in the middle of the two uh, pads so they both light up. And then we can go down to the opposite end of the room, grab the next pad. Uh, the next pad. Grab the next cube. And then we can place that on the next set of uh, pads right here again. Try and make it so it is in the middle. Again, with the controls, it can be a pain in the old button snatch because, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's just, I can't even explain it. You've just got to get used to it. So that wasn't an edit. That was something happening in game. If that happens, that's fine. You can still grab the cube and bring it through with you. Uh, go to the right hand side eventually when you can get through the wall uh bring it down to the right hand side and obviously it's just going to tutorial you up and be like hey you can do this bro hey guy you can do this friend etc but you're not my buddy guy i'm not your guy friend anyway drag it over put it on the pad here that'll light up green and that'll get rid of the force field thing in the way uh head all the way down until you can find what is the uh called the energy sphere uh, basically, you can just bash lights out in different directions. It's uh, it's cute. It's cute. So bring it up about halfway into the sort of open doorway. Uh, yeah, roughly about here. Now, in order to, all you got to do is basically look down at it until it's lit up, and then you can use the D-pad in order to make it go left or right. So you don't actually have to try and pick it up and try and do it that way, like I'm apparently doing right now. You can literally just place it down, look down at it until it is. Uh, highlighted and then uh, yeah use left and or right and on the d-pad Once you've done that go ahead up top here grab the next cube Turn it turn around Just about I don't know how you do that And then we can just simply smash straight through job done Right on to this part then what we can do is straight in front of us put this cube on top of these storage boxes or whatever it is uh, jump across here again. It's left bumper to jump unless you've changed it to the settings But for some reason changing the settings Made me turn my notes on every single time I press the X button. So yeah, it, it's weird. It's weird Anyway, uh, pick it up and there is a pad that we can pop this cube onto And we'll try and do that where the cubes not falling off job done. That's another achievement should unlock there the third note uh, Go past here grab the cube and we are going to put this uh, quite close to the pad here, quite basically to the right as we came in. 
So pop that on. Once that goes green, we're all done. That's another note. And the fourth uh, achievement will unlock. Uh, go into this next room and grab the uh, energy sphere. So basically, we're going to be doing a lot of sphering right now. You can see the sphere from a sphere away. Uh, anyway, uh, if you can get through the door without any issues, that'd be awesome too. Uh, so we're just going to pop it uh, where we just opened up the pad. Or opened up the doorway for us. And then, like I said, if you look down at it, you can then uh, put the laser to the left. That'll open up the one way. Um, we will go back through the door. Sorry, me thinking I'm doing the cha-cha slide right there. Uh, go through, grab the next sphere. You'll have to pop it through the blue door on the left here. Again, eventually. If the game lets me. Come in. There we go. And then we can pop it through the next blue door. So... Bang daddy, mate. Bang daddy. Right, nip it through then, back into this main room. And then we're going to pop this uh, sort of the, where the two sort of doorways are right there. And we are going to put this laser into the... Uh, what should we call it? The pod? The pod? Yeah, the pod, yeah. Uh, just through the doorway. Wham! So, you'll know when you're good because you've whammed it. Uh, just behind the set of... Deadly explosive stuffs is uh, another energy sphere. So we're going to put this one just to, uh, just before the one just ahead of us right there, going through the doorway, and then we'll put this one onto the top left. So this the very top left one laser, and then go straight in front of us. There's going to be another energy sphere, and then what we can do, we'll turn around, uh, keep it here, uh, just where we picked it up, because there's going to be two in a row. We're going to smash out. Ba bomb there we go, and then that'll get us the next note and the way forward. So, note number fifth. That's a good fifth note. Right then, into the next area. We get Again, we can just go straight through. So, first of all, we're going to have a look at this slider control. We're going to put this all the way down to about 0 slash 1%, something like that, you know, roughly about here. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same, as long as it's roughly about there. Uh, then we'll go to the right and we're going to pick up this next box. Turn around and we're going to uh, put it on this pad. And then the reason we're doing this, if we go back to the slider control. And uh, <laughs> there it is. Come on. Put it to around, you know, anywhere there. As long as the black blocks on the sl uh, side there have gone up. We can then put the slider control back down to 0-1%. To go ahead and grab the, uh, the cube back. Like I said, as long as those uh, those black squares have uh, risen up, you should be golden as nuggety chicken, chicken run nuggets. Right, so we'll pop that one down first then, and then we need to go to the back of this corner. That'll grab the next Cuban Hoosen. Uh, pop that one on top, again, sort of as best you can. We need to get th basically three cubes here in order to... Light up the way, light up the path. Jeepers told me to light up the path there. Yeah. There we go, and eventually. The next cube then, if we go back down and uh, head to the right. Behind this uh, tile, or whatever it is, just behind this big box is yet another cube. So this might go Cuban, or it might go Puban. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. It's very early right now. Right, so if you can, there's going to be a way that you can do it. This may take you no time at all, or it may take you a minute or two. Luckily, it took me no time at all, without even editing. <laughs> so go behind you, go into the room, which we haven't been in yet. There's going to be some slider controls, which, uh, again, can be very easily missed. We're going to put the slider control again, sort of down to like 0%, if you can, 0 to 1%. And this time, the black tiles in front of us will slip off to the left. We can get the energy sphere now. Come in. Come in. And there we go. So that's everything in the way. So what we're going to do from here, we will turn around, put the energy sphere down, and we can then hit the laser pod, whatever you want to call it, and then that should open up the way for us. Delicious. Right, pick up the next cube. We're into the next room. Now, all you got to do for this bit, then, is just... Uh, you don't have to be very careful with it. Um, just get them through all the gaps in the wall. And that's... Uh, yeah, we're going through all this bit and all through the next bit as well.
So once you lovingly sneak your way in, there's going to be a pad that we can drop this cube onto. And apparently we don't we don't get caught in between the obvious um, <laughs> solid things that we can't get through right there. Anyway, pick up the sphere. We can actually just put it down here. What we're going to do with this 2D slider control now is just explode all the ways. So again, it's as you would use the other slider control. So if you can sort of look where you go in and then press the action button, whichever it is, in order to smash everything down. So again, just take your time with it because obviously the controls can be slightly finicky, as it were. Uh, but once you have exploded all the ways, once someone's looked at you and you've exploded them with pure love in their eyes, pick up the energy sphere and we're going to put it next to this sort of open doorway. And then with the 2D slider control again, um, in fact, we're going to go and grab the next energy sphere first, right down the way. And then we will actually put that into the open doorway. We're going to do some more splodin'. I know you want to see me splode. So here it is, splodin'. Boom. So pop it just in this next room next to the other splodins. And then with the 2D slider control again, we are going to put that on the energy sphere which we have put down. So there we go. And we'll just make it, as long as it's shining into the room, it should be fine. Uh, so point that at the next energy sphere. And then, of course, as I said, we are going to explode your way through the explosions. Yeah. Explosions, yeah. All right. So that's, an, that's the eighth note completely done so we can now we're done with this area we can go straight through to the next one now this is effective this is basically now the last room so what we're going to do from here we can if you go straight into the blue teleporter it's going to again tell you a couple of uh, tutorials uh but we will actually just go straight through to the blue teleporter in order to get the uh, uh teleport yourself through the um, so basically anytime you hit the blue laser, you will get teleported straight back to the beginning. So you're going to be very careful. The achievement will unlock. It already unlocked for me. Uh, but what we'll do now with the energy sphere is if we put it sort of to the right as much as you can. So again, you have to be careful with this one. Um, and then we can, there is a laser pod right up in front of us, which we are going to use. That will open up the blue doorway here on the left. And then we can go ahead and grab this box. Now, if you do end up um, needing to get the box back there, uh, where you begin on the left is like a little, it kind of looks like a little machine. Once you turn it to green, the box will appear back. Um, but a lot of the time, if you do accidentally get teleported, the blocks um, normally stay where they are. So with this path, then what you can do, what, or what I ended up doing was just putting it right in the middle of the blue way and then just carefully... Uh, carefully just going through over to the other side. Uh, you should be able to make it there just by carefully positioning yourself and slowly going, as I said, to the other side. Once you've gotten through, pick up the next block, or the, the same cube even, and put it over to the pad here on the left. Eh? Yeah, boy. Yeah, dong, ding, dong, 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 dilly, dong. Right, what we need to do first is actually uh, go to the slider control here. And again, we're going to put this down. Make sure to put it down to about 15% rather than 20%. And you'll see why in just a minute. Um, now, if it's 15%, you can actually sneak through and go ahead and grab this cube. You can still grab this cube anyway. Um, again, just be very careful because there's a blue teleporter laser bra behind you. Um, but again, it just makes it easier if you put that slider down to 15%. Um, just pop this the opposite side of said blue laser. And then go around. I... Again, like I said, I'm just going to pop the slider. Just going to pop it down a little slide to the left. And this time, we'll keep it off. And then go anyway. Go ahead and grab the cube. This time, of course, like I said, now you should be able to squeeze through without a problem. Um, drop this cube and hooben down uh, into the blue teleporter so you can just make life easier. Pick it up again. And then what you're going to do, there is a pad directly in front of us on top of this box. And that is where you're going to need to put said cube. So ignore what I'm doing for just a minute. Sorry, there we go. So now I'm going to grab the cube back, spanking your hairy crutchness. There we go. That's gone green. So that'll just stay there for the time being. Job done. You can actually teleport yourself back. It's all good. Then you can go ahead and click on this machine twice in order to get the cube that we need back. The energy sphere now from behind us should be available. So we can go ahead and do that one. Um, let us, 
<laughs> lettuce. Wilted lettuce. Uh, go ahead, grab the cube, and just pop it next to the blue laser in order for us just to sneak through to the other side. You can jump over as well, um, if you find it easier to do. Uh, but now we can just go ahead, grab the energy sphere. And we're almost coming up to the end now. We're almost there. So pop the energy sphere down for a second, and then we can go ahead, grab the next cube, or the cube from behind us. Uh, pop this once again on the pad here to the left. Bloop, bloop. Because that's all space noises, apparently. Bloop, bloop. Uh, grab the next energy sphere straight in front of us. Now, again, be very careful. What we need to do is actually pop the slider control. We're going to pop that down to a mega 0%. And with the sphere, then, what we can do is... There are basically two laser pods here. Um, right in front of the final doorway. So again, what you need to do is just pop one down and pop it lasering on Wing Wong, there's the next one uh, Go ahead again. Be very careful with the blue teleporter, but we just need to go back as I nearly slice my teleportation 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 uh, device off anyway, go ahead grab the um, Energy sphere and I do realize I just said teleportation again it's a hard word when you barely speak English as your first language. And then we can pop this one again just in front of the next energy sphere. Again, uh, being very careful to do so. Pop this onto the next laser pod. Wing. And now what we need to do is go and grab the cube from the opposite side. So we need to again be very careful. Uh, head to the next side. No other choice but to jump this time. Jump free wiener, jump! And then we can go ahead, grab this next cube. Lovely. Again, obviously make sure to just pop it down so we can go ahead and uh, nip it around. And we are almost done. Again, the controls, man, great concepts and stuff. Like these puzzle games are absolutely awesome. Don't get me wrong. So we pop the cube just um, to the other side of the blue laser here. Like, like, the concept is brilliant, but the control, hopefully, if there's another game, um, you know, sort of exactly similar to this or whatever, the controls do just need a little bit of sorting out. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. But again, concepts, the puzzles and everything are great. So anyway, we'll just pop that cube down. We'll go back to the slider control. Uh, the way should be open. We'll pop that back to a neat 100%. And now we will pick up the cube again. And we're basically now going to put it just in front of the energy spheres. And we can now go into the way. And that should be your ninth and finale note. And the achievement ends. So there we go. Straight through. This is the end. You should now get the achievement for getting the ninth and final note. So that is all 10, um, 10 out of 10 achievements done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I uh, hope you enjoyed the game. I hope the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as well. So thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Big up.